The hungry fox races straight to the gingerbread man's home to eat his family. Both run faster in the plains than in the woods. How can the gingerbread man get home first and warn his loved ones? The answer lies in Fermat's principle of least time. Photons, the particles of light, are always in a hurry. They choose the path that takes the least time, even if it's not the most direct path. Take this piece of glass, for instance. Photons move faster through air than through glass, so they save time by bending to waste less time in glass. This is why light bends between mediums, a phenomenon called refraction. The principle of least time is true for all waves. Here's a pan of water. The waves move slower in the shallow side, but faster in the deeper side. As the waves go from shallow to deep, they turn, mirroring our photon's journey. Here's a physical way to see it in action. As these wheels go from the sticky tape to the smooth table, their path naturally bends, following the path of least time. And so, knowing this, the gingerbread man takes the longer but faster route. He gets home before the fox and warns his family in time. Vermont's principle of least time is extremely powerful, not just in saving gingerbread lives. All these equations of optics can be summarized by the simple idea of minimizing light's travel time. This concept was later generalized to the principle of least action. By minimizing the difference between kinetic and potential energy, we can derive all equations from Newtonian mechanics. Minimizing the curvature of space-time gives us Einstein's general theory of relativity. Diving even deeper, minimizing this same action spectacularly revealed the existence of gravitational waves. This principle profoundly shapes virtually every area of physics and remains a beacon for new breakthroughs.